Hello, this is Doug Johnson with Acumatica. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new branch to the demo data and enable it to make intercompany transactions. To start with, um, let's go in and look at configuration and the enable disables features area just to make sure the inner branch transactions is already checked, which it is because I've already installed the demonstration data. Next, I'm going to go create a role for my new branch. I do that in Configuration, User Security, and under User Roles. I'll add a new role called Branch, uh, let's call it Test. And since we're going to be limiting the uh, new branch to see that, we'll add the administrative user so that as soon as I add it, I can actually go in and see my branch. The next thing I need to do is I go into Organization, Organization Structure, and I go to my branches screen. There I can add my new branch. I'll just call this one test. And I'm going to keep the bare minimum. In addition, I'm going to select, of course, my new role for my access. Now I could have gone and added different things, such as delivery settings, GL accounts, a logo, and employees. But as I said, we'll just keep this one simple for now. The next thing I need to do is I need to configure my intercompany transactions. So I'm going to go into Finance, the General Ledger, and I'm going to go to the screen called Interbranch Account Mapping to configure that. So first, I'll set up the Do To and Do From entries for my headquarters. This will automatically create the appropriate entries when the headquarters originates the transaction. and I'll save it. Now I also need to set up my posting ledger for my test branch. So I could create a new ledger if I wanted to and have a separate ledger. That's going to make things a little more complicated with reporting, so I'll just stick with the same actual ledger. So I'm going to hit save. To save a little bit of time, I'm going to do a copy paste here. Uh, so we'll do a copy and a paste. And we'll hit save. So now my inner branch transactions are all set up. With that done, let's go in and actually try and create one and see what our results are. In this case, I'm just going to add a simple general ledger transaction. So we're going to go in and I'm going to specify an account. Uh, we'll just use our sales account for this and create a number that we can. Remember, now I'm going to also go enter my test branch and let's make it uh, a receivable. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. After hitting release, Acumatica automatically creates the inner branch liabilities and assets. So now let's go in and show how we can see that in the reporting area. So I'm going to go back to my report section and let's go find a report where we have a unit set created for, with branches. Now I'm going to have to do a slight modification for this one because I created a new branch. I'm going to go into this area and add my new test. We'll just call that the test branch. And I'm going to use my data source for that to be the test branch. So now I can save that and close it, and I can go ahead and take a look at my report. I'm going to expand the groups so I can see my new test branch. And let me make this window a little bit bigger. And you can see that my uh, account receivable has been created, as well as the do to and do from entry. So that's a short description of how to go in create a new branch in Acumatica and set it up for intercompany accounting.